Bigger than I can and tell us why we're not launching today. And, and it was a good day for it. Well, the day looked okay, but uh, the hardware was talking to us, and it's a, it's a, it's a significant, significant leak at the uh, hydrogen vent arm. Uh, the signature of the leak is similar to what we've seen in the past when we've had uh, leaks there, although the magnitude was higher this time. And it occurred earlier in our tanking process. It actually occurred during a uh, fast fill, where in the past we'd gotten into a topping regime before the, the leak occurred. Uh, the leak followed the vent valve cycling very, very closely. Every time we cycled the vent, we saw the leak, and so that's indicative of, a, of something going wrong down inside of that quick disconnect. Um, we're gonna, we've gotten into drain, of course. It will be done drain in another hour, maybe an hour and a half, something like that. Then we go into a, a period of time, probably about 20 hours, 22 hours of inerting the hydrogen tank. And then we're going to be able to get our hands on the, uh, on the hardware out the launch pad tomorrow afternoon, maybe, maybe late morning, tomorrow afternoon, something like that. We'll get our hands on the, on the hardware and take a look at it and see where we go from here. Um, it's my hope. Um, that given the, the magnitude of the leak, that once we get the GUP taken apart, we'll see something wrong that's obvious to us. Go fix it, put it back together, and get a launch attempt uh, before the end of this window. Uh, that's my hope. I'm, I'm not sure that's how it's going to turn out, but that's the, uh, the challenge that we've put out to the team. And you said challenge. Uh, speaking of which, that was exactly what happened last year. It had it happened two different missions, uh, with SCS-119 and SCS-127. Both of those times, it took four days to turn that around and switch out the connectors and, and get right. back in. You were looking at, at the really the only possibility of, you know, the earliest possibility being Monday, and that's 72 hours. So. Earliest possibility is Monday. We've gone uh, officially into a 72-hour scrub turnaround, knowing that that's our last launch attempt in this window. And, and uh, there are certain tricks that we might be able to do when we pull the GUP apart that, that says you, you get to the work quicker. Um, a lot of the engineering uh, contingent are going to want to take very, very detailed measurements as we're taking this thing apart, and that may end up being what we do. But, and if we do all that uh, detailed work, that probably extends the timeline because that's what we did in the past to get to that 72 hours. So we're not going to push the team, but we have asked them to do is, is there anything you can do uh, in a 72 to get to that launch attempt Monday? Because a lot of us believe that given the magnitude of the leak, we're going to see something obvious when we get it apart. And uh, if that's the case, then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll change out what's ever gone wrong and put it back together, and hopefully that supports Monday. And that's the challenge. Uh, we're going to get together later this morning with the ops and the engineering teams, review that uh, kind of top-level assessment, top-level plan that we've asked. And uh, then the detailed engineering reviews and, and troubleshooting plans will kick in later this afternoon, and we'll present that to the program uh, tomorrow sometime, uh, what the actual options are. We won't know what's going wrong with the GUP until we get our hands on it, which will be tomorrow afternoon sometime. So right now it's a lot of speculation, uh, but the hardware obviously was talking to us. It leaked uh, significantly. And so it was, a, it was a case where we were violating not only launch commit criteria, but also some of our ground safety requirements, our limits on the hydrogen and free air. So we, uh, we, we elected to scrub, obviously, and that was a, the best course of action. So, again, we're looking at Monday as the next, really, in this particular, and the only one really left in this window. If we, not to jump ahead, and I really don't want to do that, but the, we have been told that they would look at uh, November 30th as the beginning of the next window. Um, yeah, I've heard that uh, if we go into the what we've always called the December window, that uh, we may actually get an extra day on the front end of that. Uh, and the programs are often investigating that right now for us. So a whole lot of people, a whole lot of different studies going on in parallel. We're going to concentrate on the uh, the hardware at the pad and see if we can't give the program an attempt on Monday. So you're going to meet with uh, your team this morning and then uh, hopefully that took commit you to this on the air, but uh, <laughs> come over and talk to us at the uh, the, the, the uh, news center and uh, do a news conference and talk about what you guys have learned and what your options are for the next day or so. Yeah, we'll be glad to do that. It, uh, it's the type of thing where I like to get together with the launch team and, and uh, give them the, the top level expectations and then let them go off and, and do the detailed work, uh, pulling pull together the troubleshooting plan and the schedules. And we'll do that uh, sometime tomorrow. And again, we'll present that to the program probably tomorrow afternoon. Um, at least uh, w the idea of what we're going to do once we get our hands on the hardware again. We're not going to even get out there till tomorrow midday, probably. And you need to take a look at it first before you can know exactly what you're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, we don't know. It, it, uh, we know we have a significant leak, and we'll go address it. And, uh, and if we can get an attempt Monday, that would be great. Um, and that's the challenge we're going to give the team. Okay. Michael Eibach, thank you for taking a couple minutes explaining where you are, and we'll, uh, I guess we'll see you a little later this afternoon. Okay, yep, glad right. to do it. Right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Alan. And uh, 